How do you encourage successful transitions from families to settings, within a setting and into school? <laughs> Building positive relationships with parents and carers. How do you start things off? Yes. How do you develop the relationship with parents and carers so they can have a key role in learning and support transition? The Hall is a private day nursery in Rotherham. Let's see how they've chosen to deal with transitions day to day within the setting and smooth transition into schools. Said a good night. Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, it's got a bit of a cold. Oh, I this say. Morning, yes. Yeah. Oh. I'm feeling too well. Oh, the train's out this morning, Harry. Do you want to have a look? I'm going to play. It's going to play with all the soft items out. Look. How's it been this morning? It's been fine. Yeah. yeah, he's been doing exactly the same thing at home. He's yeah, play this chat. Like the train, don't you, Harry? Let's come over with mummy and sit down. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these, Jacob. He's still got his bit of a cold, but he's, yeah. okay, he's okay apart from that. We don't need no calp or anything like that. Can you move? Just Jenga. You like that one, don't you? Yeah. Well, see you later. Please. Yeah. Bye, Harry. See you later. Really bothered him too. Yeah. <laughs> can I have a kiss? Good boy. That is clever boy. We still have to play. See you later. his action rhymes, so sometimes things like that in love. And his favourite song's going to be, I went to the animal fair. Oh. Is it your favourite song, went to the animal fair? He says you like singing, don't you? If he's not got up early, he'll last till after dinner. And have an afternoon sleep. Oh. So he doesn't really like it when his mum leaves in the morning, so I put that at the bottom as well. At the end of the day, we want the parents to leave a child that's happy and confident and for the parents to be happy and confident that their child is happy in nursery. <laughs> you can say a lot more face to face. They can ask you questions if they've got anything they're not sure about. Well, we bring them across so they get used to the room and if there's a certain person that they seem to go to, like Oliver's taken to Fran, so then I would go to Fran and help him settle in, and she would then become his key person. We would sense by the visits of the being coming across if the child is happy in this environment, and we would just do 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, increasing the time level to get used to it. Also planning for the key person on that side if he's bonded with them, to have time in this room to stay and not to leave him. Sally from the hall. Hi, you all right? Yeah, fine, thank you. I want to make arrangements for um, a little girl that's coming to start with you um, in February to come for a transition visit, please. As part of the transition for the school, we identified that there was quite a big gap in actual communication between us as a setting and the schools. So what we did was we went round all the schools to introduce ourselves. We took photographs of different areas in the school and we made books. It comes down to those relationships, essentially, that shows we know those children really well and we hope that we've helped them develop those resilient skills they need for transition. Then in terms of sharing the information and the support that comes from those very different viewpoints from different professionals that we hope that at a transition point we're in a strong position to pull that information together so that the next set of people in a child's life get that information and see that whole picture of the child. 
she'll be coming across with Lainey, her key person. All right. We also invite the teachers from the schools to come into the setting. So we've tried to set up a really good transition programme for the children that are leaving to go to school. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, bye, bye. Transition isn't just something that just happens and there's, you're there one day and you're there the next, but it's a continual provision, so you're supporting children through a process and the family through a process as well. Sorry. Next, we're joining Claire and Claire on a home visit as part of Evesham Nursery School's preparation for their next intake of children. Both Claire's have a well-established routine that's been proven to develop transition. So what do they ask and what do they do? The drop-in will be if you could stay, yeah. please, mm -hmm. and sort of make mm -hmm. Anya feel as, as, as relaxed as she can in nursery. Right, okay. And then the next sort of drop-in dates um, will just be those shortened times as well. So as soon as you're happy that Anya's settled to an activity, if you say goodbye to her and then leave, right, okay. um, and then come back at the end of the session. Yeah, what are you drawing, Anya? A bear. A bear. Mm -hmm. Where's the bear's head? There. What might a bear need to see with? Eyes. eyes. Can you draw some eyes? I can't. You can't. Have a go. Have a go at drawing little circles. Fantastic. That key person will be the person that will greet Anya when she comes into nursery every day. Right, OK. Um, we will have our register. So if you can bring Anya in, okay. and then there'll be a piece of paper, which if you can encourage Anya to make her marks yes. on our register. Oh, I like reading because of all your books. Does she have a go at writing a name at all, Jane? She Everything? tries to write a name, yes. She recognises the letters in it, but she's more into reading books and things okay. rather than writing at the moment. But I keep encouraging her to do it. What's your favourite story? Um, pigs. Pigs. You like stories about pigs, do you? <gasps> we'll have to have a look in all these books here at nursery and see if you've got some. She just right. loves any books, you know, whatever Perfect. books there is whenever we're out shopping yeah. or something, she'll always home in on books and things and Lovely. she just loves reading. The middle pig built his house out of... What do you think it could be? Maybe a garden of He's a pig. Built, yeah, there's the house of straw, the house of sticks and the house made out of bricks. The home visit is normally the first port of contact that we as key persons have with the children that are going to be coming to nursery. So that first time that they meet these strange people is in their environment where they're happy. We take along two members of staff, so one member of staff will talk to the uh, parents about all the things that are going to be happening and the other member of staff will talk to the child and um, try and gain as much information as they can about that child. So they'll talk to the child about their interests. It's nice in that when the child then comes into nursery, often we can talk to them about what we saw in their home environment. It's amazing in 20 minutes how much information you can pick up. That's really why we do it. We try and make the families see that we want the best for their child and um, that anything we can do to help their child learn and to feel safe and happy is, is what our role is. And the more they can tell us um, and support us, then the better we can help their child. So it's very much the start of a positive working relationship with families. Building positive relationships with parents and carers and working in partnership with them is crucial for transition. Romeo's mum and key person Karen meet regularly so mum can understand and support his learning. Also, Romeo wanted to use the camera. Yes, so he he's, camera. he's been taking some fantastic photographs. Uh, they are lovely. Uh, 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 You, you, you tell Mummy what this is, because this is your special... Snowman. Snowman. Is it a snowman? Can you see? No, no, no. What's it made of, Romeo? Um, clay. And, and can you tell, tell what this is to plastic things? Ah, me? yeah, well, we decided that because Romeo wanted to use his special pen... I think. ..and then rub it out using the sponge, we needed to do mm. something to it. And can you remember what we did to it, Romeo? Lamin. Laminated it. Oh, you laminated we it. We laminated it. We printed them out on the computer. And laminated this one, laminated this one. 
Show Mummy what you can do with it now you've laminated it. Um, what can you do with that magic writing that you can rub out? Um, Look at that. Um, Watch this now, Mary Jane. Um, so you draw, you draw a picture. Yeah. Yes, and then the sponge goes first. Okay, then. Yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? That's wow. magical. That's fantastic, Romeo. He's used lots of ICT skills. He's used the camera, he's used the computer, mm -hmm. and he's used the laminator as well. So, wow. been very, very busy this afternoon. I can see that. And we're going to further those skills by making a flower <laughs> for our window in the stuff room. Oh, silly, so silly. maybe at home, if you could think of things, how we could do the flower, maybe if you can look at flowers out as you walk to school yeah. along and in your garden. And we can do something for this. And then we could use those, or his ideas, he can come with his ideas, and we could use those for our next focus, if you wouldn't mind doing that. Oh, fantastic. That'd be all right. oh, give us something to focus on on the way back. Oh. You could actually use this fantastic sheet you've made. You could take this pen with you, and then why don't you make a list of other ideas that we can use next time when we do some work together. But, very important, you think you could keep the list and not rub it out until after you brought it back to school. We actually pride ourselves on the fact that we do have a really good relationship with parents and carers. We involve them in every stage of the process. We report back to them what work their children have been doing. We start with that observation and we take into account the parents' observations on their own particular child's learning styles, and it's very much a partnership. But what if there are other transitions during the early years foundation stage? And she's been looking after a baby in the baby clinic, and she's done a fantastic you. job. You had a lovely time. Brilliant. Bye-bye, we'll Bye -bye. see you tomorrow. Here, the transition is from the nursery to a childminder. <laughs> It's raining a little bye bit. Bye bye, see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, 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 Angela. The staff always keep you very informed about you know, how the children have got on every day and if, ever, if they ever have any concerns, they always raise any issues with you and make you aware. This big one's called Little Panda. Anything that I've been told at nursery, I try to pass on to the parents when they pick her up. I feel it's very important that families feel they can come in and talk to us, can share concerns, and likewise that we can talk to them and tell them what they've been doing and perhaps give them ideas of how they can take their own child's learning further. We don't have a set pattern for every child. We listen to the child and we listen to the family. We start from the child and their needs and we build on that. Building from the children and their needs by developing transitions within and beyond the early years foundation stage.